This is the steps. A 4-track gate sequencer with 32 fully programmable memory slots. Steps is the second firmware available for our first Logic platform, which means a simple USB cable lets you swap future family firmwares for free using the Jasmine and Olive Trees web tool. This module delivers 32 step patterns, an XOX style editor with probabilities, a CV input for pattern selection, and more. Steps takes inspiration from classic modules like Grids and Solaric Repetitor, offering the possibility to fully reprogram the internal rhythm patterns. Think of it as our preloaded bank of rhythms. When making music with my modular, I realized that I always rely on a defined set of drum patterns. So why not have them all stored in a small module that can serve as the core drum source for my patches? This way, I don't waste valuable HP and can focus on other key elements of my live performance, such as muting channels at the right time, adjusting effects and controlling the energy of the patch. Steps offers four mutable channels, an accent output that works as a fifth output, a CV input for pattern selection and probability-driven gates. All sequence data, including patterns, channel probabilities and reset settings, can be edited over USB with Jasmine and Olive Tree's web tool. The steps is very simple to operate. Just patch a clock to make it work. The module comes preloaded with patterns that you can completely modify at any time. The channel outputs are held high as long as the clock signal is high, except for the accent output which remains high for the entire bit width. This allows you to use the accent output as a CV source to fit your drum module through an attenuator. Use the CV input to select between the program patterns. The number of program patterns will automatically map across the full CV range. It doesn't matter if you save only two patterns or 32. The CV input will always keep a good distribution. The inputs are latch mutes. Send a gate to mute the channel, the input LED will light up red, and send a second gate to unmute it. This is designed for performance scenarios where a channel needs to be muted for a few bars, freeing your hands for other tasks. If you need a reset input, you can configure any mute input as a reset on the web tool. When enabled, the corresponding LED will light up thin white. Additionally, the input LEDs give you a cue when the pattern is ending by lighting up blue, another feature designed with live performance in mind. The Jasmine and Olive Trees web tool provides an XOX sequencer to program patterns on the module. Connect the steps to your computer using a new USB cable and visit programmer.jasmineandolivetrees.com. Then, in the settings, you can click on the matrix to add or remove bits. The buttons on the right are programming utilities that let you quickly add or remove bits for the whole channel. At the bottom right, you can erase all channels or copy and paste them into a different slot. You can set the sequencer length individually for each pattern slot from 4 to 32 steps. You can store up to 32 patterns in total. Steps allows you to set different heat probabilities for each pattern and channel individually. This works great when you want subtle variation in your compositions to avoid repetition, or even when you need a completely random source. Additionally, we have added a set of presets with common drum patterns for different genres. House, techno, and drum and bass are self-explanatory. We encourage you to use these patterns as starting points and modify them to your taste or needs.
grids are drum patterns inspired by the mutable instruments module of the same name. Origins are pattern based on African music theory. Flamenco contains different palos or traditional rhythm patterns from southern Spain. Euclidean, you can generate four Euclidean channels that rotate based on the CV input. Clock divider, the clock divider preset in the web tool gives you a divider that rotates according to the CV input. Random gates, a set of random gate signals whose density is controlled by the CV input. The probability weights are set to produce musically useful variations. Finally, at the bottom of the interface, you can configure any mute input as a reset signal. By default, none are selected. So let's look at some different patch ideas you can try with steps. Rhythm source. Move through pre-programmed patterns and use mutes to create live arrangements. Rhythm Generator Use synchronized CV to generate new rhythms by rapidly switching between patterns. In this patch, we mix different parts of the stored patterns to create new ones. Change the mixing timing with a CV input to get fresh variations. The new patterns will always be based on the ones already stored. Random Gate Source Use weighted probabilities to generate random rhythms. Add probability progressively to the store patterns to control randomness using the CV input. Random Rhythm Generator Add probability to some channels to introduce generative variation into a stable rhythm or apply probability to all channels for a fully generative feel. Steps comes with two alternate firmwares. Each selectable via configuration switches on the back. No computer required. We include overlays for free in the box. Let's talk about the first one, Tour. Activate it by flipping switch one up. A full output sequencer powered by a 32-step shift register. Generates simultaneously four evolving CV strips. Integrates with DC coupled mixers for CV generation. Controlled via gate and CV inputs, ideal for creative performance setups. Let's introduce the second alternate firmware, Brio, activated by flipping switch 2 up. A full gate router that turns any mixer into a gate to CB controller like traffic. Brio can turn just one macro oscillator into a 4 voice drum kit. There is also space for a third alternate firmware. If you have an idea that fits within 5 gate inputs, 5 gate outputs and a CV input, drop it in the comments. If it's compelling, we might make it real in a future update. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy experimenting with steps.